Three weeks? Has it really been that long? Oh man, we gotta get on this. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be discussing some beta preparation plans as well as talking a little bit about how you can follow development closely by getting weekly updates and more. So Oversight Games is now on Patreon. We've been trying to fund the civil project in many different ways, each giving our community more unique perks, and our Patreon perks can be seen right here. This is kind of cool because it allows us to get close up with development updates by showing our more interested fans the in-depth aspect of the project without boring the rest of the community on YouTube with technical jargon. It financially helps us too because with more money from the community, the faster we can produce the game. Anyway, yeah, check us out on Patreon. Onward with the video though. Today we're going to be going over the beta world and showcase our user interface plans. If you've watched our other video about the world, you can see the original blueprint to the zoning of the island and I go over the planned locations for city buildings and other things I probably won't be repeating in this video. So if you're interested in seeing those plans, I've linked it in the description of this video. Take a look at this. This is the beta world in its earliest stage. You can visualize building locations at full scale and really piece together in your mind what we're going for with this. You can see the urban buildings, industrial buildings, and kind of see the density of infrastructure start to dissipate into suburban and rural areas in the world. Zoning of this nature is pretty important to simulate as much realism as possible. Of course, it's just a game, but having a realistic city is a good thing to start with. It's a lot better than randomly placing buildings until it looks good. In fact, this map design started on paper. I know there's not a lot to see yet, but in the next few weeks I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on the reintegration and optimization of core gameplay features. I'm doing art and assets on the side, of course, but now that I can visualize this world and walk around in it, I can really start to feel what gameplay needs to exist and where. Moving on to the next topic of this video, which isn't super relevant to world stuff, is user interface. I've always done my best to keep Civil's user interface as easy to use as possible, but these new designs simplify it even more for the beta. A lot of reimagining needed to happen for what you're looking at right here. This is the inventory layout for the beta. I've drastically cut how many items a player can hold down to just 8, unless you equip a backpack in your outfits slash skin section. Everything you see here is in coordinates with our GDD, a gameplay document which illustrates exactly what Civil strives to be. Your pocket slash backpack items will disappear if you die and other players can snatch them. Other items like outfits, skins, pets, etc. will remain with you forever in the server. This is the difference between the two types of items in the game, and this new interface helps the user visualize it in two different panes, rather than seeing a big grid in the center of the screen like the pre-alpha or alpha builds. Up next is an extremely different UI, one that takes the place of the missions dialogue in the alpha. It's the career interface. In the career interface, you'll be able to visualize your career, collect relevant items for your job locker, promote, and even quit your job. You'll also be able to toggle between tasks if you have to organize a list of things to do like job tasks or questing tasks. There'll also be a business log and a job panel, two very important facets for economic gameplay. This is how players can familiarize themselves with executive business actions like payments, orders, and other relevant data to their career like maybe a patient being admitted to the hospital, a criminal being arrested, a fire breaking out in a home, or just general business stuff. The job panel, which is actually blank for this example, is used for executives primarily. The place where police dispatch can see relevant info, where a politician can see political information, or where a business owner can visualize sales reports and buy stock for the company. This is the kind of stuff that makes Civil really stand out, and I'm super excited to get more of this set up to show you guys more, and I think this probably wraps up the video for now. Thank you all for tuning in, make sure you check out that Patreon, and oh, also, I'm always looking for feedback. Feel free to drop into the Discord and chat with me or the other community members, or just leave a comment on this video. Community feedback is super duper important, and it's honestly led us to where we are today completely. Thank you guys so much for your support and interest, stay civil, and I'll see you next time.